welcome to this channel where we give now one get updates on waiting they happen for BF and terror as one of our men they drop this update odd breaking Nigerian terrorist army is falling like a dead leaf Biafran Defense Force are dealing with the Nigerian terrorist army in uniform in Biafran land what what is ongoing make now hear the Prime Minister they give us the update what our father started and to liberate the God's own people the people of the Republic of Biafra. I welcome you all this evening to this particular space where we are going to be responding to concerns and questions from concerned Biafrans and those friends of Biafra on what our next action and next activities is going to do to the economy of Nigeria. Nigeria has collapsed and we have come to finish it. I want everybody to understand that our target is to collapse the economy of the zoo. Strangle it and make sure they never rise again until Biafra independent. It is only the economy they use, the, the uh, revenue generated from our land they used to buy arms and ammunition to kill our women and our children so we have made it our duty to make sure we starve nigeria strangle nigeria economically i wish to inform those of you listening to this space today that our civil disobedience has made Nigeria to lose $12 billion. More than $12 billion since 2021. In the next four weeks, Nigeria will see the worst economic meltdown in the history of Nigeria. And credit to the Biafra people who have risen up and have vowed that our freedom is in our own hand. And we are taking it by force from the slave masters. We're taking it by force from the hands of the nomadic Fulanese who are now on jihad mission to kill, maim, destroy, and annihilate. Biafra land remain the only land that can never ever be conquered by the Islamic State coming from different parts of Africa. Our duty is to defend our land with everything in us, with everything we have. And that we do, we will continue to do. And after this coming two weeks is at home, Nigeria can never survive. Nigeria, the evil entity called Nigeria, will never ever survive. So I welcome you all this evening to this particular special space where you are going to listen to how we are going to strangle Nigeria and it will never rise. Nigeria is to make sure that after this particular two visits at home,
after this particular two weeks at home, the economy will be crushed. And destroyed. And they will never rise again. And destroyed. And they will never rise again. Biafra is going to rise. We will make sure that Islamic State never strive again in our land. I want to inform those of you, our friends, our well wishers listening to this space today, that what we are fighting for is for the future of Europe, the future of America, the future of Biafra people, and the future of Africa. The terrorists want to make Nigeria a safe haven, from which they are going to be attacking other nations. And that is what we are fighting against. The United States Intelligence Agency, the special envoy to the Sahel, has made a statement a few years ago that Nigeria is a very serious threat to the existence of America in the sense that Boko Haram, Iswap, Al-Qaeda, all of them are working together in Nigeria. It is only in Nigeria that all these terrorist groups have been able to come together and work together for a single agenda. The agenda of making Nigeria a safe haven for terrorists. From where they will now start launching attack to the West. I want to inform you people today that even when Nigeria is yet to be a safe haven to terrorists, they have sponsored terrorists to Finland. They have sponsored terrorists to Finland to come and look for Simon Ekman. If you allow Nigeria to continue to be a country, mm -hmm. it is not only Simon Ekman they're going to have sponsor terrorists to come and look for. They will sponsor terrorists to come and look for your president. They will sponsor terrorists to come and look for those who stood and continue to stand against Islamization, against Islamic agenda in your various countries. So when we are waiting for them to have safe haven, they are already exporting terrorists. But those who are in Finland looking for Simon and Ekba, we are haunting them too. They will never go back as they come. We have demanded all oil companies working and operating in Biafra territory to shut down from the 28th of July. That particular demand has been complied with. They have complied with the demand to shut down production from the 28th. And the international oil companies have directed all its staff to shut down production from the 28th of July. If you are in the zoo, believe me, you are going to buy one liter of oil, 1,500, in the next two weeks. So, just better stay at home. The reason why it is going to be like that is that we are now targeting the complete economic meltdown of Nigeria or state. Yes, now we come back from the updates. As now here within the Prime Minister talk, the economic strangulation of the zoo, that the main thing will cry the zoo. And as we talk today, if you go check the amount of one dollar to naira, now almost one thousand four hundred naira now, and it goes still worse in the coming days. Another update now saying Nigerian government allowed region religious extremists attack by hundreds of Christians in two twenty. 23 u.s agency reports hmm. so now today when i know say the nigerian government they eat, eat them when in a chief of staff one time chief of staff of the zoo ty danjuma said the army has colluded with the terrorists now today they know all those tiktok videos where did they show where those boys they display weapons who they eat them where did they get the money to buy those weapons no from the zoo government money now today they know, no wala, now Biafra or Biafra, for this matter me I go rest my case.